love you too, simply. Oh, I'm lucky here. Today we have an amazing video for you guys. But first, I want to ask you to check out the channel and subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the content. So this is truly an incredible video. This is the, one of the first collection videos we've shown on this channel. And uh, it's an amazing binder that we got from somebody who's played the game since the beginning of time. Um, so it's going to be 2002 for us here in America. And this binder is truly just epic. It kind of just has everything from 2002 all the way to, uh, I think it's like Dark Neo Storm of Battle of Legends, which is in the past year. So that's really sweet. And I just wanted to uh, kind of check out this binder with you guys, go over some of the values of these cards and how massively valuable cards can be um, from this kind of collection. And uh, let's just review it together. So let's check it out. So this is a massive collection, you guys. All right, so first page, checking out some of the traps or spells here. And you can even see already, you know, this is from, you know, Duelist Saga. We got a Pond of Duality. We got Enemy Controller from AST, all the way to some classic cards here with the Liquid Duel and Graceful Dice. And then bringing it back to MP19, 2019 Mega Pack with the World Legacy Succession. So, Inferno Fire Blast, Sage of Stone. Very nice to see all these amazing cards. All right, next we have, ooh, the Regeki Collection. Looks like we have some premium gold regekis along with some Kaiba and then of course the tin regeki. But look at that, that's an LED3 Cyberload Fusion. And then all the way down here we got Premature Burial, Confiscation, and Giant True Nade with the Snatch Steel and Painful Choice. Some of the best spell cards ever made. Just chilling, just chilling, hanging out. And of course some Mage Power with Anti-Magic Arrows from Duel's Pack Battle City. And of course, the premium Monster Borns as well. Next, we have the Dark Ruler No More. It's a very powerful card. Ooh, United We Stands from, oh, that's uh, Labyrinth of Nightmare and Dark Beginning. And then, of course, the Mystical Space Typhoons here. This is from MRL on both of these two. Magic Ruler. And then we have one from that starter deck, I believe. Wow. You can just tell how old these cards are. Looks great. Um, over here we have the Change of Hearts from Metal Raiders, all three of them. And yes, you guys, I'm taking an extra look here to see if there's anything first edition. I'll be sure to let you know. Um, speaking of first edition, here we have the Metal Raiders, and we do have a first edition Metal Raiders. Wow, this is fantastic. Um, and you guys are probably going to ask, you know, are we going to have any of these cards for sale on the website, simplelucky.com? And we may. We may create like a whole little subcategory for this kind of collection here. We'll see how it goes though. Uh, double Evolution Pill with Hysteric Sign. So Rex card, my card. Getting some traps here. We have the, ooh, Call the Haunted from Pharaoh's Servant, wow. Oh, there is a Rising Rampage card. Uh, Get Out. Labyrinth of Nightmare, Secret Rare Magic Cylinders, two of them, holy crap. Trap Trick, first edition Trap Trick over there, Secret Rare. Then over here we have three Ultra Rare Solemn Strikes, and then a Mirror Force from Metal Raiders. Wow, two of them. Oh, there we go. A first edition Ultra Rare, that's our first one. Metal Raiders Magic Jammer. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can just kind of tell the spider's a bit, a bit old here. Another Metal Raiders Magic Jammer. Oh, Ring of Destruction. Wow. From a Guardian. Very nice, you guys. And, oh baby, there we go. Imperial Order First Edition Secret Rare. Talk about some value. There's the uh, different versions. Two uh, Pharaoh Servant. That first edition there. That's great. Oh, and another one down here. Holy crap. Uh, two Calm by the Graves. Got some Mega Morphs here. Some Twin Twisters. And, ooh, Into the Void over there. We got a Rev System. Dark Hole from LOB. Nice. Trade-ins, Gold Sarko. Arm Dragon, level seven, nice. First edition, Metal Raiders, seven tools. There we go. Some extreme value, and I'm telling you guys, if these cards are mint condition, you're talking hundreds, potentially hundreds of dollars in value. Over here we have uh, Super Poly and some of those newer cards. There's a uh, Ghost Sisters. Oh, Blade Knight from uh, Dark Beginnings 2. That's interesting. Super Quantum Red Layer. Wow, that is Dark Beginning 2, Time Wizard, Time Magics, and then Breaker the Magical Warrior, wow. And by the way, this binder, um, I haven't actually seen the full binder yet. I just talked about kind of the cards and we were able to do a value or 
purchased the binder um, by just talking about what was inside. And then we had the Simply Squad check them out. So I haven't like fully looked at this binder yet. So this is pretty fun for me to do. Uh, first edition MFC breaker over here, you guys. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Another MFC and then some DR1s. That's three DR1s, four MFCs, one of them first edition. Again, with the extreme value on the first edition cards. Some Cyber Dragons here. Got a first edition CRV one over there. Hey, hey, that's nice. Solemn Judgment, back at three now, that's crazy. Been a long time. MRD ones right here, you guys. That's crazy. Metal Morphs, Dimension Fusion, one of the best spells in the game. Oh no, there you go, Cyber Emergency. Very powerful car. Sky Strikers, Terraformings. Abomination Prism, that's, that's CHIM. Okay, Ultimate Creature. Very nice. First edition. All the way to a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Very cool. Man, that's IOC, you guys. That is IOC. I just got I got to I got to look at that. Wow. That actually looks like it might be in a near mint condition. Wow. That's crazy. Common super Got the Honest Neos, the Dark Sage. This one's from Dark Beginning, and this one's from uh, Duelist something. I can't remember the, the video game for that one, but very nice to see some classic cards there. Some Unchained Souls and Firewalls. Uh, can we check the please? Danger. We have a Dark Paladin from MFC over here. Very nice. Masquerina. Yeah, definitely, definitely got some CHIM cards in here. Nice. Yada Garasu over here. What? First edition. Okay, okay. From LOD. Wow, you guys, this is incredible. Looks like it's in pretty good condition as well. Some PSV Buster Bladers, Pharaoh's Servant. Injection Fairy Lily, first edition from LOD. That's incredible. Trihorn Dragon all the way from Legend of Blue Eyes Secret Rare. What is this binder, you guys? This is crazy. I've never seen something so all over the place. Oh, wow. Anniversary pack. Oh, no, this is the jump one. Dark Magician, though. There's that epic art. I really like that card. The Legendary Magician. Some, that looks like it's Korean. Um, Neo Blue Eyes. Got a Nibiru. Gate Guardian MRD. Look at the glossiness to it. You know that's an old card. Crazy. We have a Black Skull Dragon from MRD. New Dragons. There's your Boral Sword page. There's the video game cards. Any Sihos. Looks like the BLHRs. Arm Dragon Level 10, the first edition from the Duelist Pack. Two Chaz. Oh, that looks incredible. All right, you guys, let's see what we got going on next. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. That is L.O.B. Dark Magician. I was like looking for it with you guys. That is gorgeous. Looks like that one may not be near mint, but still very nice to see. SDY, you wanna look for those SDY first editions. DRL3, very nice BPT. Oh man, here we go. First edition Black Luster Soldier from, uh, that is the Yugi Evolution starter deck. Let's take that out and see how that looks. You don't see that one very often. That looks like it's mint condition as well. Gorgeous. All right, some Dark Magician Girls over here. We wish, we wish we saw an NFC one of those, you guys. Oh man, a Blue Eyes page, okay. Okay, we got Two SDKs started at Kaiba's from back in the day. It looks like they're, I don't think they're in mint condition though, but neither of them are first edition, but man, you guys can tell how old those are. That's insane. Got the Duelist Pack Kaiba's over here. Got the jump, here we go. We got an LOB right here. Uh, not first edition, but still very nice to see an LOB, Legend of Blue Eyes. Ultra rare. Ooh, Magic Ruler. Blue Eyes Shining. Couple Blue Eyes Ultimates. Oh, what? That is a freaking Red Eyes page if I've ever seen one. Jeez. 
All right. So we go over here. We got the Jump Red Eyes Black Dragons alternate art with a Japanese alternate art. Premium Pack 5, it looks like, somewhere around there. Another Jump, and then we have a Legendary Collection 1. Oh, oh, oh. Starter Deck Joey First Edition? What? Doesn't look like it's... It might actually be in a near mint condition. What? That's crazy. Uh, this is two Red Eyes Darknesses over here. These are very nice and not the easiest to find. I think that first edition was rare. Look at the bottom first over here before we get to the top. This is LOB Red Eyes, you guys. This is two LOB Red Eyes, and this is another first edition. Oh, it's got that borders a little off there, but this is another first edition Star Deck Joey. Crazy. Another Star Deck Joey here. Two of uh, 10 Blue Eyes from 2002. Wow. If we go up, oh, there it is. First edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. What? Wow. Oh, it's damaged. Man. But still, you guys, that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Looks like we got some more classics over here. This is LOBs, MRDs. Got the Bait of the Magnet Warriors. Man, you guys, I am, this is, this is pumping me up. This is pumping me up. I am, I'm feeling like we need to do some classic openings after seeing something like this. I know we're not even done yet, you guys, but I'm just like, wow. So many, it's such a great mix of classic all the way to new cards. And when you see these like Legend of Blue Eyes, Pharaoh's Servant, Magician's Horse cards, even if we can't get like some of the older packs, maybe we should. I feel like we need to do some epic opening series. You know what, you guys, let me know in the comments below um, if you have some ideas for how we should do some opening series involving some of these older cards, whether it's a, a challenge. I know a lot of you guys have mentioned like grading videos where we open up some classic cards and send them in to get graded, but that's a three month return. And so that's a little, a little tough to do uh, for planning ahead with videos. But yeah, let me, guys, let me know in the comments below you guys if you have some ideas for some classic Yu-Gi-Oh content. Um, because truly, I mean, you can just tell you guys, I am, I am loving this right now. So. Just let me know if you guys have some. Oh, that's a Legend of Blue Eyes Guy of the Fierce Knight. That is gorgeous. And yes, I want to take out all of these. Another one there. What? I want to take out all these cards. I just don't want to make this video take forever. But we got to look at one of these, though. That's a Legend of Blue Eyes Guy of the Fierce Knight. This is also a Metal Raiders Summon Skull. There's two Metal Raiders Summon Skulls over here. Look how old the cards look. Man, these cards are in really good condition for the most part. What the heck? Over here we have oh, Guy the Dragon Champion from LOB. It doesn't look like it's the world premiere version. It looks like it's a little newer maybe. Can't tell if it's classic LOB. It's still very nice. And then with that is the MRD. That was a dragon. This definitely is newer. You can tell just by the different shades of purple. I don't know if you guys see this one's a little bit lighter. Chaos Command Magician over here from Mag uh, Magician's Force. Gorgeous. You know, this is actually, we've talked about this before in a video where I pulled them, but this is probably one of my favorite pictures for a spellcaster. I don't know, I think Konami was just like, let's just make an epic magician that's not Dark Magician. <laughs> so. I feel like we need to make like a card that combines Chaos Command Magician and Dark Magician or something. I love how this guy's just like straight green. Beautiful card. All right, you guys, this is a first edition Celtic Guardian down here. It looks like it might actually be in good t condition, but we can just take a quick look. Maybe not mint, but definitely very nice. Man, look at the foil goes through the card. <laughs> oh, this is so, this is great, this is great. All right, getting over here, we got a couple Serpent Knight Dragons from Magic Ruler. Oh my gosh. Well, everybody knows about this guy right now, but there's a Thousand Eyes from Pharaoh's Servant. One of the best cards in the game is a instant fusion. That's true. First edition Fiend Mega Cyber right there, you guys. That's incredible. 
absolutely incredible. Sage with the eyes of blue in exchange. We got some Exodia pieces. Oops, we got a, got a couple LOB pieces. Classic, looks like uh, this one looks a little more classic than the others. No first edition pieces, of course, though. And then look at this, definitely some classic Sui Jin, Kaze Jin and Saga going on here. You can just tell by the, the color of the card. Look at these colors compared to this color, you know, definitely an older, older cards here. Some Supreme Kings. Is there a Gate Guardian? No, maybe. Um, some of the gods over here with some newer stuff. Got a set of Exodia. Ooh, tournament pack three. Horn of Heaven. A little off border there, but that is beautiful. Look at the shine going through the gems on the horn. Gorgeous. Got those god cards there. Why don't you give them a close up on that? Slifer the Sky Dragon. The Winged Dragon of Ra. Obelisk the Tormentor. And of course, there are uh, playable versions over here. Ken Sugimori art going on, you guys. Absolutely incredible. Um, looks like we got some Simone and Draco Berserkers. Oh, Ultimate Rares. Here we go. I like Ultimate Rares. Um, so we got some uh, Cross. I'm not going to remember the name off the top of my head. But yeah, very epic set there. This is the Ritual Beast. We got some tournament packs, I believe. Yeah, Link Spider. Nice. Um, I personally really like the Norse cards, so I mean, it makes me really happy when I see stuff like this. I know their value isn't there yet, but uh, I know Konami has been trying to make them somewhat playable with those like legendary hero decks they made um, quite a bit ago now, but didn't really make the cut. But still, it's really cool to see these as ultimates. And then I know Odin comes Ghost as well. Gorgeous. Maybe one day we can look at my, uh, or the Simple and Lucky. Norse collection. Uh, we got a Chaos Galaxy Eyes Tachyon on there. It's ultra rare, right? ultimate rare. Right? Primal Origin. We got a Teller Knight. We got Clear Wing. If you look on the next page, though, it has the ultimate, ultimate Clear Wing. Down here, we got the uh, Sky Striker. And ooh, Dark Magician is the first edition. Not first edition, though. Um, Fusion Tech cards. Crusader Vendimion, nice. Necroz of Sophia. I really liked how the uh, Necroz cards kind of combined with um, some of the other type cards that were already, like this is a more like beautiful version of Sophia, which was already that crazy looking avatar creature. So I like how the Necroz cards kind of mess with different monsters like that, gave me different types of pictures. Um, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Ultimate Rare. There's a King's Knight. This is from Elemental Energy, and I know Ultimate rares from these GX sets, you know, are very. We got, we got to look, look at these. This is, this is really cool. They're not very easy to come by, but man, when they're first edition, you guys, it just really is something else. Wow, that looks incredible. Swift yet graceful attacks, Queen's Knights. Let's take a look at one more ultimate rare here. Uh, let's do that clear one. Gorgeous. Wow. That's a really cool one. All right, you guys. And that's first edition photo cyber right there. That's pretty nice. And we'll move on to the next page here. Ooh, we got some LED threes going on. And it looks like we do have a cybernetic, or yeah, cybernetic horizon Boral Sword first edition from the set. Um, here's that blue eyes chaos though from the uh, legendary. If you don't know if you guys have taken a good look at this guy's picture before. Absolutely incredible. From, uh, White Dragon Abyss, Kaiba's Legendary 3, Duelist 3 pack. Kind of Suchinoko. Cyber Eternity, also from uh, LED 3. Ooh, from Dupo. We got Gizmek Orochi, nice. New uh, Gizmek card, uh, Kaka, Kaka Kuku. <laughs> Coming out, or just came out in uh, Ignition of Soul. Star Eater, I think that's a ghost in Ultimate though. So, And let's go to the next page at the top here. We got three Ash Blossoms. And we'll move down row by row. This one is Chaos Dragon Leviathan, first edition from Sofu. Um, it does have an ultimate rare printing now, <laughs> along with the uh, Ghost Ogre. That's funny that those both are there. And look at this row, you guys ready? We got a Black Luster Soldier. Very valuable card, very incredible, very amazing. And the incredible Pot of Extravagance. You guys, this, guy, this card has just 
eviscerated its original price point. I think it's already past the $100 mark. We'll see. Uh, Rick will help us with some prices on this video, but man. And just to show it off too, <laughs> Blackluster Soldier, Soldiers of Chaos, you guys. Very, very valuable cards. That's insane. And it looks like we got a couple pages left. Wow. Let's, uh, let's definitely, I haven't picked up a pot of extravagance for quite some time. Let's take a look at this card together, you guys. This is from Savage Strike, and this is kind of the new pot of green that everyone's experiencing. Um, at the start of your main phase one, banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck, and then draw one for every three banished. So this is kind of in, definitely in every deck that's not like dependent on its extra deck. So like every stun deck, um, a lot of the decks that are playing three solemn judgments and three solemn strikes or warnings, whatever the, the solemn cards are at. So very crazy. Wow, a lot of extravagance. And then just cause I'm already here, let's take a look at that guy. That is a black luster soldier, soldier of chaos. Very nice. All right, next page. Just a couple pages left. Here we go. All right, over here, if we take a look, we have Raviel, nice, Lord of Phantasmas, along with Uri Uriah, Uriah, Hammond, Obelisk. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. That is a first edition Cyber and Dragon from Cybernetic Revolution. I know it's not ultimate rare, my god, you guys, if these things come ultimate and you get them graded 10, you're talking thousands. Wow, that is still very cool to see. And it looks like this one actually has perfect borders. You don't see that very often at all. That might be a just straight graded nine or 10 Cyber Ren Dragon. That's very nice to see. Holy guacamole, I didn't see, I didn't expect to see that one coming. All right, we'll move on over to the next page here. And you can see from the side, we got a whole bunch of hieratic seals, a couple of card of demises, uh, both from dual power and the almighty fantastical dragon phantasme. Let's take a quick look at this guy. We uh, haven't seen him in quite some time. First edition from Savage Strike. Absolutely gorgeous, you guys, wow. Um, definitely gone down in some value since the whole Master Rule 5 or coming out uh, evenly matched nice from dual power and then of course from dual power infinite and permanence we just pulled this the other day and it was incredible and last but not least a couple cards on the back here oh some ultimate rares I like these some ultimates we got the uh, Leviathan dragon Leviathan dragon nice one of the first exceeds monsters actually um, I was hoping to uh, make some videos talking about some of these First cards that we made here. This is uh, Burning Abyss. We got Dante the Pilgrim. Cool. And let's check out this Blast Magician. This is a Blast Magician from FET First Edition. Very nice. Got a bunch of damage going on there. Wow, you guys. This was one incredible minor. Just to recap a little bit, got that beautiful page there. Didn't see that one coming. Gorgeous, valuable cards going on. Some LED threes for those ultimate rares. Wow. Nice uh, tournament pack, one of heaven over there. Classic uh, cards over there with the Kaze Gen. I feel like we missed, did we, was there a Gate Guardian here? Thousand Eyes Restrict and the Serpent Knights. There's the LOV first edition Celtic Guardian. We got the Summon Skulls and the guys. That beautiful Red Eyes page, you guys. This is insanity. This is insanity. Gorgeous. Um, going back through, we got those blue eyes cards, the dark magicians. I love that. I love how there's like, themed pages. Um, this is one of those dark magicians over there. There's the gate guardian. Okay, here we go. That is very old. I was like, we definitely have one in here. That was beautiful. Oh, and Jizno. Did I really not talk about Jizno? My boy, my man, the myth, the legend. It's definitely a worldwide edition, though. But still very nice to see. First edition Yada and Injection Fairy Lily. We talked about those. Oh, that Black Luster. Just, just one more time, you guys. Just one more time. Oh, my gosh. Gorgeous. Wow. Definitely one of the most epic collections we've seen, for sure. Or that I've seen, anyways. I love the mix of the old and the new. First edition, Seven Tools, Imperial Order, Magic Jammer, Solemn Strikes, 
Very nice, you guys. One truly amazing collection, you guys, from all the way from 2002 until now uh, with some of those newer sets in there. And then again, you guys, let me know in the comments below for some themed classic type openings that you guys would be interested in seeing. I'm just trying to think how we would do that, but maybe going through some of these classic sets. I don't know if we can really do booster box challenges or something like that with some of these older cards, but let's just let me know in the comments below if you guys are interested in that because, man, after seeing this amazing binder and holding all these incredible cards, I'm like, I really want to pull them from some booster packs. So uh, I think that'd be really awesome. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That was definitely something that I haven't done maybe ever on this channel on seeing just a binder like that. But uh, if you guys are interested in more videos like this, again, let us know in the comments below. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more epic Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And super unlucky signing in.